Welcome to TD Mobile. TD Mobile simplifies all the technologies needed for enterprise mobile applications into one easy to use system. Without TD Mobile, you would need to write the user interface using an HTML editor and coding in HTML. You would need to have a developer that knows details about CSS and HTML format. Writing the client-side code requires a JavaScript developer and extensive knowledge in JavaScript for defining the client application flow and the binding with the backend data. To code the backend functionality, you would need a C Sharp or .NET specialist, a Java specialist, or a very knowledgeable PHP developer to create the backend code for your application. You would need to manage many technologies many skill sets and many files and tools to get your mobile enterprise app going. With TD Mobile, all the previously mentioned technologies and skills are integrated into one easy to use single system that can easily be used by one single developer. So here's how you create enterprise mobile applications. The interactive GUI designer of TD Mobile doesn't require any HTML knowledge. You can simply drag and drop objects from the layout ribbon bar onto your device page. Using the property pane, you can set all the properties of your objects on the page and the main page properties like the caption of the page here. Let's say that's a company screen and the button should be a search button. You can of course set things like a, an image for the button. There's a number of predefined images like here. And for example, use an up arrow here. Um, you can set the background color of the button. You can say use seam or define your own color here. And let's say we want a light blue here. And you can set your text and background colors. Now let's add a few more objects to the screen so you see exactly how all this works. For example, you drag a data field in here. You can move it on top of the button or below the button. So I want to have that on top. That would be the button that you use to enter your search criteria. You can also give that button a name and a caption. search for, for example, and you see the caption is being displayed at the right place here. Now we can also add certain things like flip switches, an HTML control, a meter control, a checkbox, a combo box, pictures, a link. Using the TD Mobile HTML control, you can actually place any HTML on your onto your um, application page. And that is the concept of TD Mobile. We want to make it very easy for developers to design their applications and to develop their applications. But if they need to step deeper into the programming language, for example, HTML, that capability is always available too. Now I want to design a data area where the data is being displayed when I press the search button. So basically a list of companies that I'm searching for. To do so, I'm using a container control, which is a list view. And I want to drop that container control right below the search button. The list view control is just a container. Now I need to drop a data or a text element into the container that will display the actual data. So I'm dropping a background text here that will then contain the data element. Now I'm going to create the magic clue between the actual application page and the backend data that I want. So the list of companies that will come from a database. To do so, I go into the code view of the page now and go into the client portion of the code view. Here is an outline item called bindings and I need to create two bindings now for my application. There will be one binding of the class customer, which is a single company. And then I will also create a pretty much the same class customer, but in this case, an array of companies. 
star bracket. Back to the GUI design of the page. Now I can select the list view and assign a list source bind to that um, object. In this case, it's the object, the binding companies, so the array of companies. The value bind I want to set to company. So that means the selected object at the end, if somebody taps on one company in the list of companies, will be stored in this binding. And here is the background text I need to fill with data as well. The value bind for the data field is company, companies dot company name. So to bind data from the back end to the GUI, you just need to select from a list of drop down values. Having created the design and the bindings for my application screen now, I want to start coding the back end of this page. Let me switch to the code here and we are now going to look at the server code and we are going to create a new operation here. Let's call it O company and this should shall return a plus customer array actually. And the binding is companies. See how that binding is being returned from the operation. And this is all you need to do to tie the database values to the front end GUI controls. Now I pass in a parameter to my operation and that parameter is a class customer and the binding company. This binding company needs to pass in the search term that somebody enters into the search field before pressing the search button. So actually I forgot to assign a binding here for this um, data field and I need to assign a value bind of company dot company name. Now I need to create the actual backend code and that is being done here with actions can define local variables. Let's do that first. For example, define a SQL handle for a database connection and a return value for database um, queries. And then a custom array again. local customer and now let's start coding. I'm going to use the TD Mobile Coding Assistant to create my um, backend code now. I need to connect to a database now and do that by calling a method SQL connect.net is what I need to do. And you see, I'm getting help to fill in these, all these parameters for this function here. And if I type the beginning of the parameters, then the coding assistant will fill in the values for me automatically. Into this function, I'm passing in the actual database connection string that contains the server name, database name, and all these things. And when I have the connect, then I can actually query the data. Now I'm going ahead and doing a call again, call SQL, prepare and execute. And again, the first parameter is the SQL handle. And the second parameter is the actual SQL and select company into local customer dot company name there 
company like and then the bind variable is the past parameter s customer now in a loop i'm going to fill all my companies into the customer array so while sql fetch next and again the sql handle the the return value and then indented in the loop i'm just setting the counter up one set an index equals an index plus one and after that we are going to return the array of um, customers return local customer and before that we should do a sql disconnect to disconnect from the database so we are doing we are handling the database nicely here there's one last thing i need to do and that is to tell the button on the screen to execute this operation that I just created. So this push button here has events and I add an and a click event here now. And on click, I want to execute or I want to invoke that operation. And what you see here is our high level scripting language that is basically above the level of JavaScript for very easy client side programming. I just do invoke and from the list, I choose O company. Now I can go ahead and test my application pressing the go button on the project ribbon. This will compile the application and run it with IIS Express in test mode. So I can now start debugging. And if I don't enter anything, it should actually return all the companies from the database. And you see it's working. So the list is returning the list of companies that I wanted to have. So that was a quick step at creating enterprise applications for mobile devices. What remains to do is to publish this application to IIS and then try it from an iPhone or a smart, another smartphone or from a tablet. So let's press publish. Now this application is published to my IIS and I want to go ahead and test it now from my mobile devices. So here's the screen of my smartphone. Let me tap on the company application now. And here you see the application that I have been writing. I just tap search, then I will get the list of companies from the database. So this is how easy you can create mobile enterprise applications with TD Mobile.